Today we're going to be talking about uh, indirect measurement and similarity. We've learned a lot about similar um, objects as well as proportions, scale measurements, and all that good stuff. So today's just another extension of that same idea. So you will be using proportions in your solutions. All right, so first of all, we need to know what on earth is indirect measurement. Well, indirect measurement is when you are using similar figures to compute distances that are difficult to measure directly. All right, so for example, I have a problem right here. It says a person that is five feet tall that casts a shadow of four feet, just like this guy. So we got a guy that's five feet tall and he casts a shadow of four feet standing next to a tree that casts a shadow of 10 feet. Um, how tall is the tree? All right, so in this case, we're going to use a proportion to set up our, um, to set up our solution to figure out what exactly is the height of this tree. So in order to do that, we need to set a couple things. So first of all, we know that the height of the guy is five feet and that the shadow is four feet. All right, now to go along with that same idea, we're going to keep our height of our guy um, or the heights on the top and we're going to keep the shadows on the bottom. So with that in mind, we are going to, we know the, um, how big the shadow is. So we're going to put that on bottom and then we're going to put our unknown or how tall the tree is on top. From here, we're going to lay our proportion flat and solve it. So we're going to get 4x equals 5 times 10, which is 50. Solve for x by dividing by 4. And x is going to be equal to 50 divided by 4. Which is going to equal 12 0.5. So we know that the tree is going to be equal to, oops, sorry, um, is going to be equal to 12 and a half feet tall. All right, now, um, when you're solving these problems, and really when you're solving any proportion problems um, or scale um scale mapping problems or any of that, I'd really like you to set up the proportion and actually use the cross multiplying to solve it out. Okay, I noticed um, during class today during work time we were not necessarily going through all these different steps. Okay, I'd like you to start getting in the habit of doing that because these um, solving equations like this is not going to go away and this is just one more way you can practice it and really master that skill. Um, I don't want you guys to take shortcuts. I did notice that today, and that's when mistakes happen, all right? Um, also, you know, it, it is a requirement as you get older to show all of your work, so it's just a good habit to get in now, so it's not a shock when you get into high school or even into algebra next year, okay? All right, so moving on from there, we have another, um, just another example that we can work on. Um, this example says, write a proportion to solve this problem. We have a building that is 70 feet high, cast a shadow of 150 feet long. If a nearby flagpole casts a shadow of 60 feet, how tall is the flagpole? All right, so I'd actually like you to do this problem in your WISC tonight. Remember, if you do not do the problem, you do get marked down. Okay, so you don't want to, four out of five points actually puts that at a C plus grade in the grade book, and I don't think that you want to see a C plus in your grade book. So um, keep that in mind. So make sure that you set up a proportion. That's what I'm going to be looking for. And I'm also going to be looking for your work underneath to tell me how tall this flagpole is. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Pretty short lesson. Um, a very important lesson. Just make sure that you guys are coming to class with any questions about any of this information. Um, 
because we are approaching the end of our chapter here pretty soon. Okay, so thank you guys.